Hello and welcome to Animal Based In Your Face with Scott and Pam. Today we're going to show you how to make pancake fridge toast sticks. You can make them plain, you can add fruit, you can top them with real maple syrup or a sugar-free syrup and even whipped cream with a sprinkle of cinnamon. Be sure to come over to our YouTube channel, Animal Based In Your Face and subscribe Click the bell for notifications so you don't miss any recipes. Find us on Facebook in our support group at Animal Based In Your Face Tribe. The ingredients you're going to need today are Philadelphia cream cheese, Butter, salted or unsalted work great, either one. Pasture-raised eggs. Your optional ingredients are pure vanilla, Ceylon cinnamon, blueberries, or any fruit of your choice. For baking, we are using our bun molds. You can use any mold or a baking pan that you want. You could even use like a nine by 11 with parchment paper or grease well. You will also need a blender or food processor to mix your ingredients. We're going to start mixing our ingredients. First, we're going to mix one softened eight ounce block of cream cheese and put it in our blender or food processor. Next, we're going to take a stick of softened butter, either salted or unsalted, and mix it with our cream cheese. Next, we're going to add just a little bit of our egg mixture just to give it enough liquid to mix our cream cheese and butter. And blend this together until smooth. Once your mixture is smooth, go ahead and dump in the rest of your eggs. And continue to mix until well combined. It's time to add our optional ingredients of two tablespoons of pure vanilla and one teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon. Once again, these ingredients are optional, but will give it a much better flavor. One teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon. And mix and combine well. Once all your ingredients are well combined, Next, we're going to move over to our molds or our 9 by 11 pan. And for my molds, I'm going to butter them lightly individually. If you're using a 9 by 11, you can use parchment paper or you can also grease heavily with butter. Just using a silicone brush. and a little melted butter and doing our first mold. Let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Now we have a quick preheat 
which causes it to heat up really fast, and that's what I'm going to use. Once that heats up, we'll be sticking those in the oven in a few minutes. Next, I'm going to fill my molds with the mixture. Now, my blender has a spout on it. If yours doesn't, you can just pour it slowly. I'm gonna fill these molds about halfway, and remember, these are bun molds. Any mold will work. You can even use a muffin tin or mini muffins. I filled both of my molds, which made 12 total for this bun mold. And next, since I love blueberries, I wanted to add a few with some blueberries before putting them in the oven. Now it's time to put them in the oven. You need to cook them at 350 for between 15 and 30 minutes, depending on what pan or mold you're using. Remember, if you want it more like bread, they need to cook longer and be a firm texture. And if you want it more like flan, just cook them less. We're going to go ahead and put in our second pan of mixture. We'll be checking on it in about 15 minutes. We checked them at 15 minutes and they were still a little soft in the middle for me. Remember, if you want them more like flan, you want them solid in the center. They will deflate once they come down or come out and pull down. How those looking? bouncing back. They're kind of stiff, so they're ready. All right, so at 20 minutes, we're going to pull these out of the oven. And here are the ones with no blueberry. Good. All right, they're nice and stiff. Okay, I'm going to take these out of the molds and let them cool on a cooling rack. As you can see, they're starting to deflate, which is what they're supposed to do. I'm just gonna flip it over and lay it flat on the cooling rack. Now these molds, I bought them Amazon. There's tons of molds on Amazon, but I'm gonna put the link to these in our description so you can easily find them if you decide that you wanna make them in a bun-like shape. Once these cool, then we are going to, you can either leave them solid or cut them up in like sticks and then we're gonna fry them in the skillet in some butter. Now that they have cooled off, I am going to heat a skillet, put a little butter in it, and I'm gonna brown them really well on both sides. The great thing about this recipe is you can put these in the refrigerator overnight and they're perfect for a quick breakfast in the morning for meal prep. And once you put them in the refrigerator, they firm up really nice. And then the next morning, you can heat them up in your skillet just like we're about to do. I'm gonna do blueberry, cause I love blueberry. All right, we're gonna let these get really nice and brown on both sides. We'll flip them in a few minutes and then when we get done, we'll take them out, top them with some real maple syrup. If you do not use real maple syrup, you can always use your favorite syrup of choice. You can even just top them with some whipped cream or whatever you would like on top. Letting these cook about a medium to medium low heat on each side. Just for a few minutes, look how nice and brown they're getting. This is just a great recipe. I know people get tired of just plain fried and scrambled eggs all the time. 
So this will be a really great recipe to use during the week for meal prep, weekends, when you're cooking for your family. We'll be taking these off in just a few minutes. All right, we got the plain ones plated. Just put a little bit of real Kerrygold butter on them and some fresh whipped cream with a drizzle of maple syrup. Look how delicious those French toast pancakes look and perfect for on the go.